of Exodus where we had these women that were working and it was five women who will play an important role in the life of who? Moses. Amen. They will play an important role in this and in God's plan to do what? Save Israel. Hallelujah. And these five women who could have been killed themselves for disobeying Pharaoh's orders. Amen. But they still, there was a plan for God and God will orchestrate. Say orchestrate. God will orchestrate. Hallelujah. His plan and his plan will come to fruition. And we're going to find out about that plan. We know that these, uh, during that time, Pharaoh, hallelujah, he was upset. He didn't even know why he was upset with God's people. Just like today, hallelujah. All he knows is that they were multiplying. They were like baby kids. They didn't die. They multiplied. Amen. And as they kept going on and on and on, he got afraid. And he said, what if they become so many that they will come up against us if somebody come in here want to fight us. So he despised, uh, he, he uh, aroused a plan, hallelujah, that he would get rid of them, that he would annihilate God's people. So he started with the children. And once here we have these hidden figures, these, these people that's in, hallelujah, in this particular uh, verse of scripture, the two midwives, hallelujah, their name was Pua and Shepha, hallelujah. And these two, amen, these two, uh, they were midwives and we all know what a midwife is. Right. A midwife is somebody that come and help the woman, what? Deliver her child. To deliver her baby. Amen. Amen. So these midwives, so Pharaoh told the two midwives, he told Pua, hallelujah, and Shephard to go and I want when these babies come out, I want you to kill them. Hallelujah. So what did they do? They went, hallelujah, amen, and we all know that God always have a what? A ram in the bush. In the bush. Hallelujah. 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 Why are you trying to figure something out? God is already working, working out. out. Hallelujah. And these two women, hallelujah, and some as faith was happy, they went and they said, no, nah, you know, because I believe they knew the word of God. Yeah, I believe they, they knew the commandments. And the commandments said, thou shalt not kill. Hallelujah. So wow. what they do? They did not kill. They said, no, I'm not going to do this. You let me know. Let me tell you something. Come on. It's something about a God-fearing woman. A strong God-fearing woman. So we find out they were not going to take part in killing a nation of babies that should not kill. They were two of the hidden figures. I told you there were how many? I told you there were five, five hidden figures that had to do with this. I know a lot of time all we do is we hear about Moses being delivered. But if these women had not played a part, come on somebody, come on. if they had not played a part, they would not be a Moses. If God had not orchestrated and put things in order, there would not be a Moses. So as we move on, the hidden figure, on, huh? Pharaoh said, well, okay, he come up with another plan. His other plan was to order his men, uh -huh. his people, to go and throw all the babies in the Nile River. I mean, come on, that had to be a very heartless person. A very person that did not like, and just because the children of Israel, the Hebrews, were of a different race, of a different color, let's pause there for a moment. Pause, we find it. that right here today. Come amen, on. amen. I spread something on Facebook today that said, if we keep killing one another, and they keep killing us, no, let me say, if we keep killing us, and they keep killing us, there won't be no more us. That's right. There won't be no more us. Well, so let's, I'm, I'm talking to you out there. On. Hallelujah. Stop killing us. Let's join together. I mean, because it's enough that the people already don't like us because of the color of our skin. It's bad enough that we're already the lowest class. Hallelujah. Stop putting yourself down and start looking to God who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. We got to continue to strive on, say scribe on. Yeah, Hallelujah. On. We got to run on and see what the end is going to be. Let us put all these things aside because they don't like us and they don't even know why, Pastor. They don't know. They, they don't, don't know why. Know. They don't know why. And back to Pharaoh. Pharaoh was against these people. These people that helped build up Egypt. They helped build it up. Why would you come against people that were helping you? It is just like the black folk. We helped build the United States. Sure did. From the sweat of our back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We helped build 
this thing. And yet we still going against the people. We still, we got the fight. We got the fight. We got the fight all the time. We shouldn't have to continue to fight. Amen. 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 So as we move on, it said that we described the, he, he made up another plan to kill the children. What? To throw the babies into the Nile River. What a heartless person. What a conniving person. No heart. No, 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 no kind of remorse. But just to do what he wanted to do. So Jacobin, Moses' mother, and Miriam, we're talking about two more hidden figures. Hallelujah. They came and they had a plan. And what their plan was, their plan was to build an ark to put the baby in the Nile River. Let's stop right there for one second. <laughs> Hallelujah. To put them in the Nile River. Isn't that the same river where he was throwing the babies in? And so what they do, they put them right back in the Nile River, but in the ark. They put them in the ark. And when I think of the word ark, I think of Noah and his family. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't want to be in the ark? <laughs> Hallelujah. They put him in the ark. Amen. And when I think of, I think of Noah. Hallelujah. Who was preserved from the flood. Hallelujah. In the ark. When the ark is, there is safety. Uh-huh. In the ark, not only there's safety, but there's protection. Well, Amen. There was protection. And when they built the ark, I think of the sacred chest representing the presence of God. Hallelujah. So they put Moses in the ark that was the protection that was, hallelujah, of God. Hallelujah. For safety. Amen. They didn't know, but I think about his mother, hallelujah, Jacobin, who, hallelujah, like any other mother, who would just see it. I could see her letting the Art go. Hallelujah. She looked down. And oh, when I think of a mother, when I think of a mother love, let's look at God. Hallelujah. The same river of death where hundreds of other little boys were drowned. His mother puts her faith into action. Why? Because they said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And that he is a what? A rewarder of them that do what? Come on diligently seek him. Not only that, it said that faith is what? The substance of things what? Hopeful. She hoped that her child would be delivered. Hallelujah. And what? The evidence. She didn't see no evidence at that time. Hallelujah. But the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. But what? She trusted God. She trusted God. She knew that God was going to come through because she had that mother's love. I can see Jacobin huh, praying huh, as mothers do, waiting for the Lord to deliver her son. And when I think about mothers, oh my God, I know my mother prayed for me. Hallelujah. I know many a nights for me. I don't, hallelujah, I don't look like what I've been through. Why? Because of the prayers of a mother. Huh? Oh, glory. I was locked up. Huh? And you know what my mother used to do? She used to send me stamps. Yes, yes, uh, she yes. said, I ain't got no money, but I'm going to send you a stamp, <laughs> hallelujah, so that you can write me back, <laughs> and I'll write you back. Come on, Amen. somebody. Yes, I yes. know I caused my mother a lot of heartaches. <laughs> I know I caused my mother a lot of disappointments. <laughs> I know I caused my mother a lot of tears. <laughs> I caused my mother a lot of pain, but she never gave up on me. <laughs> hallelujah. I know I put my mother through hell, but my mother had a praying mother. I had a mother who would go back in her room and she would pray until something happened. I thank God for my mother who was my hidden figure. Hallelujah, my hidden mother, my figure. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, for my mother. Thank you, Jesus, for my mother. I thank you for my mother, God. There's none like her, God. Hallelujah. I Always love my mama. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then she set the ark down the river. Well. Hallelujah. Miriam, his sister, watched as God's plan went into motion. <laughs> I'm telling you, God orchestrates. God sets things in motion right. from the beginning of time to now. You might think what you're going through is a surprise, but it ain't a surprise to God. Hallelujah. Before, because for such a time as this, God is moving. God is moving on your behalf. God is in the background. Hallelujah. 
future and he's pushing you to where he needs you to be. He's pushing you to what you're supposed to be doing. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about God. The off Alpha and the Omega who is the beginning and the end of our faith. Jack Obey, his, I mean, his mother was praying waiting for the Lord to deliver a son. Hallelujah. And as his sister watched, <laughs> hallelujah, I can only imagine how Jacob had felt when she let the ark go. Hallelujah. She told her daughter to watch. She entrusted, come on, this is what we got to do. Some of y'all still holding on to these grown children. Some of you still think your grown children can't fend for themselves. Some of you still letting them live in your house, ain't giving you no dang on rent, <laughs> ain't giving you no, ain't paying no bill, ain't doing this. But what we got to do is like Moses' mother. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. We got to start cutting the draw. I mean, what's the name of that thing? The, the biblical cord. The, 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 we got to cut the, the biblical cord and stop how it thinking that your children can't fend for themselves. Come on, man. Let them boogers go. Come on, man. Let them boogers get out. Hallelujah. Amen. And see how hard it is out here. Hallelujah. Stop living off of you. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. You need to grow up. Stop it. Not your children, but you need to grow up. Because I think that they are crutch for you. I think that you think as long as I have them, I'm going to be all right. They can't do that. As long as you think with that little Phoebe mind of yours, your children ain't going to never grow up. Let them grow. Uh -huh. Let them go. Oh, yeah. And trust them like she did to God. She entrusted a little baby be all right. to God. Now right. you got children that's 30 and 40 years old that you won't trust to God. Come, oh my God. Come on. Can I get a witness up in here? I'm talking about you mothers that's holding on. Come on now. That won't let them go. Can imagine her watching her infant baby and you got a grown, lazy, rusty, dusty still at home with you. My Let them go. Let them go. Then a miracle happen, no? And a miracle can happen for them if you let them go. Here comes the final hidden figure in our story. As God completes <laughs> the final piece of his puzzle. You good, you good. Hallelujah. Pharaoh's daughter, Bethara. She comes along, minding her own business. Now, I can imagine she waking up, talking about, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to dip in the Nile. For one thing, I wouldn't want to dip in the Nile River where they were killing all these babies. My God. Amen. Think about oh what you're doing. Goodness. We don't think about that. She's going to take a bath in the Nile. Jesus. And as you remember, as Moses, years later, as Moses, Moses used the Nile River in order to complete God's work. Come on now. 40 years later. Amen. 